Okay, we're continuing on with reading the epistle of James. This is chapter 2, up to verse 14. Titophilos. This is a neuter noun, uh, hence the article here, ophilos, third declension neuter. What then is the advantage, my brethren? Aeon plus subjunctive. If um, <coughs> tis someone might say, ekain, to have pissed in faith, uh, de, but he does not have works. So he says that he does not have works, but he does. He has faith, but he does not have works. We get May introducing a question where the answer, expected answer is no. May do not I. Surely his faith is not able to save him. So sighs the aorist infinitive from Sozo. But if a brother or sister, now these are both singular, but the verb we're going to have is, and the adjective here is plural. Uh, this happens quite a bit, even in very good writers of Greek. Uh, nothing particularly strange. So if, in English, we use the singular, but the Greek uses the plural. So if a brother or sister, hupako is often used just like Amy is. It's, it's in the sense of, it is in a state of. So if a brother or sister is gumnoi, naked, kai lepominoi, and um, in need of, lacking, is the usual translate from, from lepo in the passive. Uh, lacking, um, and it takes a genitive, lacking in trophe is your food or uh, sustenance. F mera is daily, in their daily needs, their daily sustenance. But someone, um, and we get a lot of these in the subjunctive here, someone might say to them, or sorry, someone ex humo, some from among you, might say to them, and this is what we've got a capital here, who parted he, depart from hubago in peace, imperative thermines there from thermonomai, be warmed, this is the passive here, uh, be warmed and be satisfied. Cortezes there. Um, this is this verb in classical Greek is used mainly of animals grazing, but um, in Koine Greek it has more the sense of to to satisfy hunger. Um, May doti, uh, you do not give to them the epitadea, the necessities of the body. Uh, what is what advantage is there? Titophilos, the same expression we had at the beginning. What use is this? Hutos, thus also, faith, hypistus, if it does not have erga works or good deeds or good conduct, necra estin, it is dead, cath hiautan in itself. Allah, but, and quite a strong Allah is a very strong but, but someone will say, notice here he, he introduces these straw men, he introduces someone says something and then they tear it, he then tears the argument down. It's a rhetorical method, um, much used of course by Socrates and others. Um, um, so he uses this particular technique in this section, but, but someone will object, someone will say, you have faith, kago is crisis for kai ego, kai ego, but some, but I, so, uh, but someone will say, you have faith, but I have works. Daikson is from Daiknumi. You do also get Dake Nuo in uh, later Greek, but this must be from Dake Numi. This is the um, aorist imperative, second person singular. Um, show or reveal to me your faith. Chorus tone ergo, and apart from works. Um, cargo, that we get that crisis again. And I will show, that's again from Dake Numi. This is the future. I will show you. Um, the faith, ek tonurgo mu 
something like arising from my works. Uh, Supistuase, and this, this is a again rhetorical question, but there's no question mark here. Um, you believe that uh, God is one. Kalos poies, you do well. Uh, even tardaimonia, the demons, believe, notice neuter plural subject plural verb, but that's become quite common in by the time you get to New Testament Greek. Um, uh, so even the demons believe and they uh, frisusi, they shudder. Theles de Gnonai, do you wish to know, O anthrope kene? We get a nice vocative there, that's from kenos, empty or vain. Uh, anthropos, there's the vocative, O vain man. Do you wish to know, and it's a question, um, that uh, hey, pistis, that faith, choris ton ergo, and apart from works, est in age. Now, age is, we get a nice jingle of, of sounds here, ergo and age, because this age is in fact, it's a ergo. It's, the, it's the alpha privative plus the erg root, oops, the erg root there. Uh, so, do you not, um, do you wish to know, O vain man, that faith apart from works is, age, is useless, it's ineffectual. It, um, um, yep, so, uh, in, yes, ineffective is probably the right translation there. Um, now, we get a, a proof of this from uh, the Old Testament. Interesting that this is the very example that um, Paul uses in Romans to to prove that um, um, it is by faith one is saved and not by works. And then James uses exactly the same example to uh, to claim that it's by works that um, well that works are an important part of faith. So Abraham, your um, our father. Uk edi kaiothe. This is from dikai oo. This is the aorist passive. So our father Abraham was not justified ex ergo by means of works. Un enk un This is from Anna Ferro. And the aorist of uh, the Ferro is anenkon. And so the stem is enink. And so here we're getting the aorist participle using the, the unaugmented stem plus the anna. So our father Abraham was not justified um, by works. Having offered, so we'd say when he offered, Isaac his son, epitopusiasterium. Unfortunately, it was across a page here. Uh, the the word thusiasterion, thusiasterion, is a word that which is um, very rare in classical Greek, but it became very very common in in the Septuagint because th this is the word for the Jewish altar. Um, if he wanted to refer to the Christian, sorry, to the pagan altar, he uses the word bomos. And in the Septuagint, it's very careful, the writers are very careful to distinguish these two. So Thusiasterion is the Jewish altar. And you can see that the Thu root, the sacrifice root in the, in the, the noun. Um, do you see that faith Sun erge, this is from sun plus that erg, we get lots of these erg roots here, and again this punning, sun erge tois ergus, and then we get ergon again. Um, so do you see that faith cooperates, might be a nice way of, of putting that into Latin, so works together with, with works, so cooperates with, with its, with works, or with its works, or the works of, of well, with his works, isn't it, of him, um, and 
by means of works, faith is made perfect. From Telio O, this is the aorist passive. And the scripture was fulfilled, the one saying, Abraham believed God and it was reckoned to him for righteousness. It's the same quotation that Paul uses in Romans. Kai philos theu ekleithei, this is aorist passive from Calio to call. This is the aorist passive form here. Um, and he was called a philos, a friend, theu of God. Do you see that a man is declared righteous um, by means of works and not by means of faith alone? Homoios, likewise also Rahab, the pornair, the prostitute, this is connected with the verb penami. It doesn't occur in New Testament Greek, but it means to sell. But in Pence, you sell yourself, you're a prostitute. Um, likewise, also Rahab the prostitute was not, uh, there's a question, was she not justified by means of works? Hupidex Saminoi, Mene, is the feminine participle. It's, it's from Hupidecomai, so Hupidecomai, to receive. Um, to take into your home. This is the, the aorist um, feminine participle here. Taking um, in, or we could say just, t just taking in the angels or perhaps messengers um, and having sent them out, this is the feminine participle aorist from Ekbalo, uh, on a different road. And you can find the story of this, of course, is in... Um, the uh, Joshua chapter 2. Hospega tosoma, likewise, for likewise the body, apart for, sorry, for just as the body, apart from the spirit is dead, hutos, likewise also, faith apart from works, necra estin, is dead. So feminine necra agreeing with the pistis. And that's the end of chapter 2.